Let us see a very interesting question from the topic arithmetic progression. Uh, of course, this pattern questions are little bit tricky, but very interesting. We can do these questions very easily. So, let us see the solution here. Here given that, here given that A, B, C are in A, P. And you know that if any numbers, if numbers given are in A, P, then if we multiply these numbers with some constant or divide these numbers with some constant, it, they will remain in A P. Okay? So, first of all, we will divide these numbers by A B C. Okay? So, therefore, A upon A B C, B upon A B C and C upon A B C, these are in A P dividing by a b c okay here a will be cancel out here b will be cancel out here c will be cancel out therefore we are getting 1 upon b c 1 upon c a and 1 upon a b these are in a p now we will multiply multiplying with a b plus b c plus c a okay so therefore we will get a b plus b c plus c a upon b c a b plus b c plus c a upon c a and a b plus b c plus c a upon a b these numbers are also in AP. Very simple. Okay. Now, next step, what we will do? Just you see the statement of this question, what we have to prove here. In numerator, we are having only AB plus AC. Here, AB plus AC plus BC. So, we have to remove this term BC. How we will get it? Subtracting 1 from every numbers okay so therefore a b plus b c plus c a upon b c minus 1 since we know that addition or subtraction or multiplication or division with some numbers from given numbers in a p no change in the property uh, the resulting numbers will be also in a p okay so subtracting minus 1 from these numbers so, this much minus 1. Similarly, here a b plus b c plus c a upon c a minus 1 and here a b plus b c plus c a upon a b minus 1. These are also in a p. Now, we will get the result or simplify it. We will get a b plus b c plus c a minus b c upon b c. So, plus b c and minus b c will be cancel out. Similarly, in this case a b plus b c plus c a minus c a upon c a plus c a minus c a will be cancel out and here a b plus b c plus c a minus a b upon a b a b and minus a b and plus a b will be cancelled out. So, these are also in A P. Correct? Now, we are getting the result here. Simply taking common A from here, taking common B from here in numerator and taking common C in this numerator, we are getting this result. Okay? So, we are getting the result here. Therefore, A will be common here. So, B plus C upon B C here taking B common. So, B into C plus A upon C A and taking here C common C. So, A plus B here upon A B are in A P. So, proved. We got the result here. Okay, understood?